All right, hi everyone. So I love customizing all my Apple products, my MacBook included. So in today's video, I thought I would show you a few ways you can customize your MacBook. And all of these are super, super easy. You absolutely don't need to be a MacBook expert for all of these customization hacks. So yeah, if you've seen these aesthetic MacBooks on Pinterest and you're always wondering how they did it, this video is definitely for you. I'm gonna show you everything from how to customize your screensaver to your wallpaper and just changing a bunch of settings that's gonna make your MacBook a lot more aesthetic and really cute. So, so yeah, let's just get right into it. All right, so let's start with how to customize your screensaver. As you can see right now, I have this really aesthetic screensaver that you've probably seen on Pinterest. And there's also a second one that is super popular on Pinterest. It's this Aura Clock screensaver. And both of these are totally free and they're super easy to download. You can just download them in one click and have them up and running in like a minute. So yeah, for the first one, you just search for Aura Clock Screensaver and it will probably show up. Or you could also go to gridfitty.com. So you have a free option, but this one only comes with one color only. So it's like a purple orange color, which is a really nice one. It looks really aesthetic, but if you want more colors, you unfortunately have to pay for it. But yeah, so you just check out and you kind of have to do the whole checkout process even though you're not paying for it. So you just put in your address and name and everything and then when you check out it's gonna say like the you don't have to pay for it so so then when you check it out you're gonna get a download link so you just click the zip file and then double click the folder and then you're gonna go right into settings and your screensaver options so here your new screensaver is gonna pop up and you can also customize a lot of settings so you can choose if you want to say a.m. or p.m. or only the time and you could also do a 24-hour clock but yeah this is what it's going to look like it's super cute super aesthetic Pinteresty, yeah. And then if you feel like paying, you could also get a six pack of the same exact screensaver, but in a bunch of different colors. So you have like red, yellow, blue, just a bunch of different colors, even green, but it costs $5. But if you wanna get something a little less colorful, you could definitely go with this black screensaver as well. This one is from Flicklo. So you just go to flicklo.com. This is one of the most popular ones out there. And same thing, you just press download. This one, you don't have to sign up or fill out your information but it's totally safe to download i've never had any problems and i know like thousands if not even like hundreds of thousands of people have downloaded this one so when you go into the flicklo website you're gonna press the device you want your screensaver on so they actually have this screensaver for iphone ipad and macs so i'm gonna do the imac it works for macbooks as well and they also have it available for windows but I'm gonna do Mac. Then you just double click the Flicklo. And for me, it says I already downloaded it because I already have it installed. But otherwise, you just follow the instructions and it's gonna pop up in your screensaver. Yeah, and this one you could also customize a lot. So you can do 12 hour clock or 24 hour. So you could also customize the size and the brightness. So here's what it looks like with a small analog clock. And here's what it looks like with a big analog clock. So this is what it looks like. It's super cute, super aesthetic. Honestly, super useful as well because it has really big numerals. You can see what time it is even if you're like really far away from your MacBook. And also I really like that it keeps the display like not too bright. You can obviously adjust the brightness as well, but because the background is already black and you just have like a white text, it's not too bright if you have this on at night, like compared to the more colorful screensaver. All right, so next you could also customize your folder icons. Instead of these basic original folder icons, you could actually choose any icon you want to. All right, so just search up any icon or logo or anything on Google, such as heart PNG, or if you want a white heart specifically, just search up white heart PNG or star PNG or whatever, and then download that picture to your MacBook. And then you just go into the folder you want to change the icon for and press get info. And then you see the little folder icon. So you actually just drag the new icon you want, the PNG image to this folder icon is really easy and if that doesn't work I know it doesn't work for some people you could also just open up the PNG image and then press ctrl C to copy it and then mark the folder icon and press ctrl V to paste it yeah but just make sure the image is actually PNG because I downloaded a bunch of images that weren't PNG so it looked kind of weird 
blurred it just ended up being a whole picture but if you want to turn any image into a transparent image you can use this app called photo room i mean there's a lot of apps you can use to turn any image into a png image yeah so then you just do that for all your folders and it turns out really cute you could obviously customize it in so many ways you could use images for the icons or different symbols that means anything to you or like whatever but i just did a bunch of hearts so some just outlined hearts and then some like filled in hearts and yeah but you can see it looks a little like off because the folders aren't aligned so to fix it you just go to view in the menu finder and then click clean and it's gonna like sort all the folders in a straight line so they all align with each other all right so next you can do to customize your macbook is make one of these super cute customized collage wallpapers and i mean you don't even have to make your own you could also just find one on pinterest or on google but i think it's super cute to make your own and it's so easy to take like five minutes all right so first you want to start with searching up your screen size so i have a macbook pro 15 inch so for me my wallpaper is going to be 2880 by 1800 so that's the numbers i'm going to type in on canva canva is the platform we're going to use to create the wallpaper so we're just going to do a custom size all right and next we're going to need some pictures if you go to uploads you're going to find all your pictures but i currently don't have any cute aesthetic ones so i'm just going to download a bunch of pictures from Pinterest. So if you already know what theme you're going to go for, you can search up like airplane aesthetic or Hawaii aesthetic or whatever it might be. But if you don't really know what theme you're going for, you could also just search up aesthetic pictures you'll have a bunch of options and then you're gonna download all the pictures you want so you just press the little three dots and then download image and then you just upload all those files in canva under the uploads tab and then you can just start creating your little collage so i mean here it can be really creative it's really not that hard you can't really mess this up you just add all the pictures in random order and like place them onto each other so they cover the background and that's really it it's so simple and then you have this cute little collage wallpaper so yeah this is the result i think it's super cute super summery this gets me so excited for summer and i think it also looks really good having like all the folders right here in one picture in one corner and then this is my hard drive right here it kind of like matches this vibe of the picture <laughs> all right so before we move on i just want to introduce the amazing sponsor of this video which is software keep so software keep is a micro Microsoft certified partner who sells only 100% genuine Microsoft software. So this means Microsoft has approved all these products to be sold by Software Keep. So they don't use any robots in their service and also offer a full service 360 degree software buying experience. And one of the great things about Software Keep is their service. So they offer 24/7 customer support and also a bunch of helpful tips and tricks on how to use their software and they have over 100,000 five-star ratings and these are the review stats from their customers so this just speaks for the great service all right so they offer a bunch of different products like microsoft office microsoft 365 antivirus for pc and mac and they have both lifetime and subscription products and for all the products the estimated delivery is 30 minutes or less so now you might be wondering why you should buy a microsoft product from software keep so software Software Keep has really competitive prices and saves the average customer 25% compared to Microsoft.com. And you also have this great 30 day money back guarantee. Well, Microsoft doesn't really offer any refunds. So they already offer really great prices, but with my discount code, you can get an extra 20% off, which is so good. So the discount code and the link to Software Keep will be in the description. So just keep in mind subscriptions, antiviruses, and cloud services does not apply to you this discount code so i downloaded the microsoft office home student for math this one includes word excel and powerpoint which powerpoint i use all the time in my schoolwork so i literally couldn't do my schoolwork without this and excel is great for both my schoolwork but also all types of like personal budgeting so whenever i do my monthly budgets for myself i actually use excel all right so next we're gonna do is hide this doc menu bar at the 
bottom because there's kind of just a lot going on right here with all these apps and also all these pictures. All right, so we're just gonna go into settings and then press dock and menu bar. All right, so under dock, it says automatically hide and show the dock. So if we check that, it's gonna hide the dock. So it's kind of like an invisible dock. And then we can also do the same with the menu bar. If we check automatically hide and show the menu bar on desktop, and I don't know, I think this looks really good, really minimal. It kind of just gets rid of a lot of distractions. All right, now this next customization is by far my favorite. It's so, so useful. It's something called Hot Corner. So basically it's a shortcut if you hover over one of the corners of the MacBook. So if you go into System Preferences and then Desktop and Screensaver, in the bottom right corner, you have Hot Corners. So you just choose from this list of of like activities or applications. So for example, you can do Launchpad and Quick Note, um, Start Screensaver if you hover over one corner. So then if I hover over the left top corner, I'm gonna open up Launchpad. So instead of having to click in the menu bar, click in the dock, find it in the dock and then like do a bunch of clicks, I can just hover over the corner. It's so easy. And then if I do the left bottom corner, it opens a quick note without me having to even open the notes app. And I mean, this is just so convenient. I do notes all the time so this is so good if i just get a random idea and or a thought i just really want to write down and i can just easily open up notes and then in the top right corner i can start my screensaver so if i know i'm walking away from my macbook instead of having to press the menu and then go down to screensaver i just hover over this corner and it starts the screensaver. All right, and something else we can also customize in the system preferences to make our MacBook more aesthetic is accent colors. So you just go into system preferences and then general and here under the appearance, you can choose accent color. So if I do, for example, pink, if we select the text in a note, the highlighted color is gonna be pink and that's so cute. Also, all the icons over here under the favorites and iCloud tab are pink now. All right, so next I wanna show you is Sticky Notes and this is basically just the app Stickies, which allow you to make little customized notes directly on your desktop. So it's great for like creating to-do lists or if you just wanna have a little to remember note on your desktop. So there's no way you can like miss what's on it. There are so many different ways to use sticky notes. You could also just have them for the aesthetic. Yeah, so you just open up the app Stickies and then in the menu bar you press new note under file. The default is this yellow note, but you can definitely change it. So if you go to color, you have some color options. You can also see the short commands for all the color options. So if you do command six, it's gonna turn to white. We could also do command four for pink. I think pink. It kind of looks good with this theme. Let's just do a white note, maybe. All right, so I'm gonna write a little to-do list. All right, so now that I got my little to-do list, we can also customize the font. So for example, for the title, I might want to make it bold, so we can just do command B for bold. You could also do everything from the menu bar, but this is just a short command. We could also do it bigger or smaller, as you can see. And then you have a whole list of a bunch of fonts. So these are actually like all the fonts you have downloaded to your MacBook. So we could do a super cute like little handwritten font. All right, great. And now we have a super cute little to-do list on the desktop. All right, guys, but those were a few ways I like to customize my MacBook. And as I said, they're not complicated at all, but these tiny little changes or settings can make a really big difference on how you like to work on your MacBook every day because it's kind of like your office space. If you're working in an office that you don't find very appealing and just you're not gonna be as excited to work in that office and it's kind of the same for your macbook because your macbook is well probably for most people a working space but yeah with that said please let me know if you appreciated this video in the comments and give this video a like if you enjoyed these tips all right but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye